Hi guys, it's Belle here and I am back with another crafty, thrifted, secondhand haul video. That's a bit of a mouthful. Let's get started with the first two things that I picked up. So, I have a problem guys. I cannot avoid looking in the music section for vintage music. I think we all have some sort of... Um, craft supply that we tend to haul or be drawn to or hoard and one of mine happens now I know to be vintage music so I recently when we were visiting this uh, small town found this amazing secondhand bookshop it had all sorts of books I mean real original pieces that were 60 70 80 pound and then it also had you know basic ones for like a pound and stuff and obviously they had a music section so I had to check it out and the first one I saw was this you can see I mean this is falling apart which makes me not feel so guilty about also taking it apart and it's very ripped at the edges and things there's no writing in this one but just look at the yummy discoloration guys and look at some of these back pages I mean <laughs> no distress ink needed with these and there are just so many oh and this came in it as well and I don't know what this is for but there we go I'm not going to turn down some more um music to play with and even the back page I mean I'll use that it's coming off completely there's so much music here look guys look um so that was the first one that I was like yes please um I picked that up and then right behind it was this other one that has this kind of almost like brown paper package uh, cover. No words on it or anything. Maybe it did have at one point. It's a bit thinner. Again, it's completely falling apart. Honestly, most of these pages are loose. Um, but it was loved at some point and you'll be able to see why. So there's lots of discoloration again. There's writing up here. Someone stuck a piece of paper here to kind of help with this crack um papers here obviously it hasn't helped that much lots of writing here i mean these pages are literally writing on these pages they're literally just coming out i mean honestly there's not much to say about that they'll be fun to use and again no distress ink needed um and then on some of these back pages someone has lovingly put tape over so this must have been used even in really poor condition and someone's just lovingly put tape over these rips um and i love that and i will definitely use these pages as is in a grungy journal i mean look at it isn't it beautiful <laughs> only a journaler could look at something ripped torn aged with sticky tape on it and go isn't that beautiful this one obviously ripped without that neither of these have dates on them but you know love it and love that brown paper too so yes i have a problem i picked those up second thing i picked up in a different shop was this little french and english dictionary it's just a little one again it's old enough it hasn't got um a date in there that i can find uh and here we go from whitstable in kent and yeah it's just i mean the pages are actually in fairly good condition um i have to admit i've already used some pages in fact if you saw week 26 of Marguerite Miller, my week 26 collage of Marguerite Miller, um, which was probably last week, possibly. Mm, not sure. Uh, I used some of the pages from in here for that. OK, and then we have a doily. Now, I know, not that exciting. But again, if I am in a thrift store, secondhand shop, I cannot resist looking at their fabric and their doilies and well you know I love working with them and this is that beautiful kind of um ecru beige look so that'll go well on projects and then I found this trim guys now I love this um let me get this up close to the camera so you can have a real look so it's deep red and burgundy with this um gold thread throughout and then it's got this gorgeous soft edge i feel like maybe it would have been on upholstery of some sort i don't know but it looks like there's at least a meter i haven't checked yet it was 60p 
and I already have a project in mind where I will be using quite a lot of this. Loved that. Okay, and another thing I realise I have a problem with because I really don't need any more is buttons. So let's just get right into it, shall we? So firstly, there was this bag of 16 teeny tiny buttons in this beautiful effect. This is probably my favourite with buttons like wood or this kind of look. And these are so tiny and they're also so thin. They're great for using on embellishments in journals. So couldn't say no to those. And then there were seven of these bigger ones that were in a similar colour palette, I suppose. Just love them. They're neutral. They work in so many journals. Um, the light's not brilliant today, guys. Uh, it is horrible outside. And then even the back. Look at the back of that, guys. Even the back is beautiful. I mean, who says you have to use a button just on the front? Why can't you sometimes use it on the back? Hmm? I mean, why not? I think I'm going to. So there's those. And then I found these. Now, I love these. I think they might be metal. Um, let's see what you think. Listen. I hope you can hear that. And then if I get this up really close so you can see the pattern on there. Again, I have a project that these will work brilliantly in. And um, yeah, there are six of these beautiful and they've got such a beautiful weight to them as well really hope that's picking up in this light oh you can really hear that it really does really does sound like a penny so yeah so buttons okay so the last thing and why the camera's up so high i found this i've never seen one of these before i'd be really interested in the comments below if you've come across one of these this is from 1972. It was in with all the maps. And I thought, what is this doing with all the maps? Because, again, I always check out the maps. I am better. I don't often buy them. I have a few. And I don't use them a lot in my projects. So, you know. But I still check them out. What's with that? And so I found this and thought, oh, beautiful illustration. World of Flowers. I wonder what it is. Now, I cannot get all of this on screen. There is just no way I can get all of it on screen. But let me show you. So it is a map. But it's a map of flowers from around the world. I mean, look at these illustration guys. Literally, look at them. Fussy cutting these. Ugh. And then, so you will see in a minute when I open it up, there's a map in the middle and each of these flowers is numbered and it's linked on the map. And then you can find them all on the different areas, Southeast Asia, Himalaya and China, South Africa. It's all of these. So let's see. And on that side, let's try and open this up, shall we? I'm going to try and be very careful. It is humongous. So you can see it's called The World of Flowers. Just look at these images, guys. I'm really trying. <laughs> I'd say this is at least a metre in length. I haven't got my metre stick nearby, but it's at least a metre long. And you can see this is part of the map. Now I'm going to open it again. Okay, I cannot get all of this on camera, I just can't. But I will try my best to show you each part of it. So we've got all this. Look at these flowers here, guys. And then you have the map. Oh, look at the poppy. Look. Oh, honestly, guys. And then, as if that wasn't enough. Hold on, it's attached to something. It opens up once more to the bit I showed you at the bottom. So, oh my God, honestly, there's a few rips in this and I'm not surprised. Hold on, hold on. This is really hard to do on camera, guys. So there we go. So it opens up to the bottom. It is massive. It might even be a meter long and more than a meter wide. Anyway, I'm just gonna do this because it's just so big. So this is beautiful. I've never seen one like this before. So I picked it up originally thinking, oh, I might use it as pages or I might fussy cut. But to be honest, guys, I just don't know. I, I don't know because I've never found anything like it before. Um, I may put it in my shop. 
I don't know if that would be of interest to anyone. I really just don't know at the moment. I just think it's beautiful. So let me know down below if you've seen something like that before or if you'd be interested in, in it being put in my shop. I mean, it's beautiful enough that you could literally get a giant frame and frame it for the wall. That is how stunning this is. And like I said, it's from 1972. Um, World Pictorial Map Series by Bartholomew. I want to try and uh, check out some more, see what else they have. So there we go. Buttons, music paper, French dictionary, some trim, crochet and this gorgeous map. That's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed me sharing this quick crafty haul. And I'd be interested to know, what is one of the top things, crafty supplies that you cannot do without and will always look for if you're going to any thrift, um, second hand or even just a normal store? What's the first thing you go for? Um, like I said, it's normally music paper for me in a second hand store and then I quickly look at the fabric and obviously books. But yeah, and uh, that's it for me, guys. And wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having lots of crafty fun. Bye for now.